Let's begin the nightmares! That sounds like more of a creepy version of Pegasus. Basically what we've got here is the new archetype that's um, called Ghost Tricks. Um, it's also known as Shadow Spectres, I think, which will probably end up being its TCG name. No doubt if the translation is correct. Either that or we'll end up with another battle in boxers. Ugh. Anyways. So this one I've been testing uh, out and it's actually turned out really good. Um, this tutorial will basically focus on what's good and what's not in this deck and what you can run. As it stands it's actually a very good alternate archetype. Um, this is one of these decks that you should use if you like to use something different like Medulce's or Crystal Beasts. Um, even the field spell, I would treat it like a Watts. Like, um, Watts or the second effect of uh, Crystal Beast um, Rainbow Ruins, Ancient Rainbow Ruins. Um, the field spell itself is the bread and butter of the deck. It's actually what keeps you most protected whilst um, it also provides very good battle damage. It basically turns all of your ghost trick monsters into what monsters so they can attack directly. Um, that's the best thing about the deck, is that anything that's face down, if your opponent only controls face down monsters, you can attack directly. But there are other effects you can get off while they do have face down monsters. So this deck actually utilises things like Swords of Concealing Light rather than Swords of Revealing Light and uh, Book of Eclipse. Th these help your deck so much, but they bring with them quite a bit of cost, quite a bit of risk. So let's talk about the monsters. You've got two level 1s, two level 2s and two level 3s. The level 2s are spellcasters. These ones will be the least useful in the deck. They're basically support and that's all they ever will be. They are the ones that flip down your opponent's monsters um, so that your level 3s, your rank 3s and your uh, spells can go off. Um, this enables you to be able to attack, but um, attack directly. But you can get the same effect from Swords of Concealing Light and Book of Eclipse and all of these other things. So it's not really a big deal. It's not a big deal not to be using these. So what we start off with is you want to start off with in your hand one of the level three zombies. The best one is obviously uh, Jiangxi. Jiangxi. Jiangxi or whatever it's called, um, the 1800 defense monster. When that card is flipped face up, you'll be able to add a ghost trick monster equal to the level of the current ghost trick monsters on the field. Remember, it's not actual knowledge of the game that um, your face down monsters are actually ghost tricks, so you have to have them face up for that card to go off with the maximum level. Also, I'd just like to add that, uh, on another note, that it's up to the number of monsters on the field. You don't need to add exactly three if you have exactly three ghost trick monsters. It can be one, two, or three. Now, the other level three is the zombie um, ghost trick Stein, I think it is. And he has an effect that basically acts like a bear. Firefist bear, where if he attacks and he successfully deals damage, then you can add a Ghost Trick Spell or Trap card to your hand. Mostly you use this uh, Stein to add the Field Spell to your hand constantly, as well as the Rank 3, which we'll get into in a second, to get the Spell card back into your hand. Now the Level 1s are very necessary. The Level 1s are the things that protect you as well as give you draw power. The draw power in this deck can be absolutely amazing if drawn in the correct order. The way to make sure that it is drawn in the correct order is to add to your hand constantly through Jiangxi. But we'll get, we've already covered that. So the level 1s, um, the fiends are, one of them will negate attacks, but this one targets monsters. So if you have a face up um, a ghost trick monster on the field, or your opponent attacks you directly, 
um, you can special summon this card and face down defense position and negate that attack but it targets the attacking monster so be careful of that the other card is also um, once a ghost strike monster is destroyed by battle or card effect you can special summon him and, him and face down defense position and draw one card if you successfully special summon it that is. Now because they both have zero defense this makes it very good to actually run recurring nightmare. This enables you to create immense draw power from just getting your cards destroyed by one way or another but once your cards are on the field, those level 1's are on the field you have to find a way to get them off the field as soon as possible because they are no use to you on the field except to be able to possibly defend yourself if that co if it comes to that but this is why you have to run rank 1 XYZ's or at least uh, Kamen Leon so that he will be able to synchro summon 5's on that note as well, um, it's also worth mentioning that the zombie uh, level 3 is Stein has actually got zero defense. This enables you to run things like Black Rose Dragon, but most importantly you can run Ancient Fairy Dragon, or the new var variant of it, um, whatever it's called. I think it's the same name. Anyways, um, that monster will basically allow you to destroy things that you were not possibly able to get over before but this is also where the rank 3 XYZ comes into this um, this rank 3 XYZ is made with two level 3's it can be any two level 3's so you can run crane crane you can run tour guide in this deck um, obviously you run the ghost tricks and they will make the rank 3 as well so what you do is once you have the rank 3 you get a monster they control into a face down defense position obviously um, or a spell or trap card and you detach uh, XYZ material and destroy a set card they control when Alucard is um, destroyed and leaves the field and goes to the graveyard he can um, bring back one of the ghost trick monsters or spells or trap cards to your hand also worth mentioning is that um, the Alucard does not allow your opponent to attack any other monster except Alucard. That also includes face down defense position monsters. If your card's uh, set, if your monster is set, your opponent cannot attack it if Alucard is on the field. Now, I run uh, Bukatayo in this deck because it's very useful, it's very necessary actually. Um, you guys will find that when you get a first turn Jiangxi you want to get that effect out as soon as possible so you'll use Bukatayo to flip him face up first turn and then use his effect to flip him face down um, in case you guys have missed it every single one of those level monsters have an effect that can flip themselves back face down so this enables you to use the spell attract card uh, uh, sorry the field spell card um, which basically makes it so that you, um, your opponent cannot attack you, um, attack your monsters. You can always save your monsters if they're in face down defense position if you have that field spell on the field since they won't be able to attack them. You also use um, Ghost Trick Out which protects your face down defense position monsters as well as Ghost Trick cards um, from destruction from card effects and they can't be targeted either so it's also worth mentioning that um, it's not public knowledge that your face down trap if it is a ghost trick panic or whatever it is is a ghost trick card so you can't save ghost trick panic with ghost trick out if it's face down um, but yeah I've been running Kamen Leon with this and it's worked out pretty well um, because of this the deck is so spammy it's ability to actually make uh, the synchro 5s or even you know synchro 9s being able to do synchro 9s and synchro uh, it can even do celestial dragon star form dragon if it really wants to it's just the amount of special summoning that goes on in the deck is very good but that being said it would be useless against things like jogan um, it's not so good against elemental dragons either just simply because of how spammy they are 
unless you can mass flip down everything and then pull out a one turn kill uh, somehow miraculously then you don't really have a hope against high meta decks that being said this is just a fun deck it really is just meant to be fun but it also reminds me of how Medolce's were when they were first released so if you guys want to play a deck that's very fun, very uh, adaptable um, and basically runs like a Bujan deck where it's all a bunch of hand traps um, and your opponent doesn't know what to expect it's very good uh, and I definitely approve of it so guys run it, see how it goes uh, I'll put a deck profile at the... I'll try and put um, give you guys a deck profile video if you guys give me enough likes on this um, and I'll try and upload uh, the Archfiend X as well as the Lionheart deck tutorial later on today so uh, this is Seth punching out